What is up beautifuls, welcome back to my YouTube channel or of course if you are new then welcome, my name is Finn and in today's video I am absolutely buzzing for today's YouTube video because we are putting two of my favourite things and just smashing them together so in today's video as you can see by the title below we are testing a brand new brand of makeup from Wilco. So this brand is called Body Collection. Wilco are selling this in their stores. It is so affordable. I actually got a massive load of inspo for doing this from Steph Toms. She is the first person I've seen anyway to review this makeup and as soon as I saw it I thought I know I need to turn this off and I need to do it myself. So I'm really sorry Steph. I will watch your video after but let me just you know have a look. <laughs> Also, on top of that, we're also combining not only my favourite kind of thing, which is makeup, we're combining Christmas. So in today's video, guys, we have got a very festive, orientated Christmas look using a brand new brand of makeup. What screams more thin than that? So seriously, that is what we are doing today. I am so excited. I only bought this stuff yesterday, but when I tell you it is affordable, my god guys so super super quick disclaimer i'm not being paid for this i'm not being uh sponsored by them this is not an ad i bought this all with my own money mainly because it is super affordable secondly i am so sorry for the lighting if you're in the uk or england right now you know how dark it is it's literally like nearly eight o'clock it's pitch black outside and yeah i'm reliant on my box light so i'm really really sorry about the lighting if it's a bit up and down so let's just shove this on my face let's go right guys let's put in the cat ears as usual cute i've literally bought a full face there isn't a si no, i haven't bought contour i haven't bought contour but the rest you better believe it <laughs> i've bought it right first things first we're going to be going in with a primer so this is the body collection england i'm probably going to end up saying that throughout everything all of this is body collection england by the way we are going to go in with the pore minimizing primer suitable for all skin types so i picked this one up because my pores around my nose are actually really huge um well they're not huge but they are quite large i don't really like them so let's put this on my face <laughs> so can i just mention the packaging really quickly like, you wait until you see some of the other products, but the packaging is insane. And I'm adamant that this was £3. £3 for a primer. That's insane. So let's just shove this on and see what it does. Oh, that is a lot more jelly than what I was expecting. That is super jelly. It doesn't smell of anything. This actually... I reckon this is probably silicone-based. Am I wrong? It feels silicone based, I could be wrong. Let's grab a tiny bit more. You don't need a lot of this stuff. I reckon this is going to last ages. I've used like a pea sized amount and then another half pea um, for my entire face. And I feel like that is genuinely plenty. And it's not scented or fragrance at all, which I actually like in a primer. I hate having scent and fragrance on my face. So. The less of that, the better. <laughs> I really thought I was going to hate that because when I first put it on my finger, I thought that's, that's so oily and it reminded me of that W7 one that I didn't like. But you know what? That's actually not bad. I don't feel like it's sunk into my skin. It's not sitting on top, which I really like. So, I mean, we can't really test a primer until the rest of the, the stuff is on my face. But, I mean, so far, so good. Okay. Next up, I am so excited for this because if this works, then it is, this will be the cheapest one i found so far. So we are going in with the Illuminating Liquid Foundation, which looks like this. How bougie is that? Look at like the rose goldy copper lid. This is glass, not plastic. And I got mine in the shade Ecru. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And not only is this a glass jar, it comes with a pump. How many foundations do you know for four pounds, yep, it's four pounds, <laughs> come with a pump and a glass jar? Not many, honey. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I'm gonna be putting it on with a beauty blender. I say that, I'm cheating. It's a Real Techniques one. Also, guys, this is a light to medium buildable coverage, so you might need two layers, you might need one. That said, I don't like a really thick layer, so if it's buildable, I'm happy. Oh, that feels 
Like, it's very thick, like it's not running at all, is it? Let's take two pumps and see how far we get with two pumps. Shade-wise, I'm really happy. That's the sort of shade that I would normally go for. I've also got a big spot up here, so hopefully it covers that up. We will see. I know that they said mattifying on the packaging, but I feel like it's very dewy. I feel that if you wanted it really matte, like, I don't feel like I look dry. I, I feel like I look dewy, which I really like. And it's so far, two pumps seems to have done my face. Now it's extremely hot in this room, which is why my forehead is looking a little bit red, genuinely because I'm warm. Um, but I feel like that is definitely your skin, but better. Like it's not too, it hasn't clogged up my skin, it hasn't clogged up my face. For a four pound foundation, I am massively impressed. And I know it said medium, medium coverage. What does it say exactly? Light to medium, but do you know what? That is actually my sort of coverage. I'm so far really, really impressed, and this was only four pounds. Right, guys, the next product we have is actually another super exciting one. I'm just so excited about everything in this video, to be honest. You just wait until we get to the eyeshadow, though, honeys. Wait. <laughs> so the next one we're going in with is the Illuminating Under Eye Concealer, which looks just like this. I believe this was £2.50. I've got a funny feeling it was £2.50, but that's what it looks like anyway, and it's just an under eye concealer. So I'm also going to use this for the spot up here, which needs a little bit more coverage, just to see if it works or if you do need to buy the other one. But if, you, if it doesn't work for spots, then they also have another one. So... Oh, here we go. So it's a little brush sort of thing and then you twiddle it, so. I'm always scared about twiddling these too much and they explode. Oh, here we go, it's coming out now. That took a long time. Hopefully this is the right shade. Um, regardless, we're gonna see. I know I've got light and pale skin. I'm so sorry, I wish it was a little bit deeper, but it's not, so I'm learning to embrace it. Right, and let's pop a tiny little bit on this spot up here. Do I need it anywhere else? Let's go here as well. I'm not a massive fan of the twisty ones, to be completely honest. If this works nicely, then I really hope they come out with just a doe foot one. So, yeah, it's just easier, in my opinion. Definitely feel like that has brightened me up. I know my lighting is crap in this video. I'm so sorry um, But if I don't film it now, then you guys won't have any content until after Christmas So I was so excited to film this and just get it out. So under the eyes I feel like that has definitely illuminated me. I've been up since four o'clock this morning So I'm gonna have bags and tired eyes and I don't feel like it looks as though I'm that tired. So Yeah, I'm not mad with that. That's actually I Really like that. I like the base so far Let's see how this one covers the spot. Again, honey, it's gone pretty much so far. Foundation concealer. Now let's mattify it and pat it down a bit. I am not used to looking this refreshing and dewy and I just feel like, do you know what? I think that looks really nice. <laughs> If I do say so myself. Next thing we're going in with is the Body Collection Translucent Press Powder, which actually comes in a pressed pan, and I haven't used a pressed pan for a very, very long time, so I am really excited for this. I've also not used a translucent powder ever. I've always used a powder with a little bit of a tint to it, or a bit like of a yellow undertone, like banana powder. So I'm really excited to use this. Smells of powder, doesn't smell of anything artificial or horrible. Little bit of kick back in the pan, but not that I care because it's all going on my face anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to pat this everywhere, so just want my foundation to not move. If it can just stay in the same place for me, that'd be great, honey. So I've just checked the receipt. This pressed powder is two pounds for a translucent pressed powder, and already, like that is already set. That looks so much like this is all really dewy and mattifying. Mattifying and dewy, that's an oxymoron right there. It's really dewy and this side's really matt mattified. Um, I don't mind dewy makeup, I really don't. I just prefer a matt matte finish. Oh. 
I am so happy with that. A little bit of kickback in the pan, but it's nothing that I cannot control. And I'm so excited to have tested this tonight so that I can use it for tomorrow for work. So, yeah. Right, oh, next product. Again, is a really, really exciting one. And this looks so bougie, guys. Like, so let me just see how much this is first before I show you what it is. So this was £2.50. Now look at the packaging. Honey. I love it. Rose gold, beautiful packaging, beautiful pan, reflects the light. The only problem with this packaging is that it does chip easily. Um, but then look at the inside. Oh my gosh. It is so, so beautiful. I love it. So this blusher is in the shade Coral, which I thought would be quite flattering. Um, hopefully, you never know. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> So I am not a blush kind of gal. I'll put a tiny bit on and that's about it. That's as much as you'll get with me. I love the color though, actually. Now that color is building up, I think that is a really, really pretty color. I would wear that out and I am not a blush sort of person. It's also got that little bit of like dewiness, illuminatingness making up words over here and then obviously because I need to feel cute I've got to put a bit on my nose like I honestly think that is a really subtle blush I look a little bit healthier highlight we're going to do last so I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and for eyebrows I've got this eyebrow definer pencil in the shade brown it looks like a standard eyebrow pencil to be honest um, it looks like you get a spoolie on one side and the pencil on another am i lying to you this is the pencil that i picked up and you do get a spoolie on one end which just a standard spoolie and then you get the twisty pencil on the other end so let's see how skinny this is do you know what? i have one from profusion that is really really similar uh, except the one from profusion is in dark brown and this one is just in brown so maybe it will match my new hair better we will see but first Let's brush up the brows. So far, so freaking good. They are tiny little hairs. But you know I am not mad. This was £1.50, wasn't it? How much was this one? £1.50 for a pencil. And a twisty one like that, not even a sharpen, like a sharpening one. Sparse, no hairs, full hairs. I'm really happy with that. £1.50, well spent. Do you know, genuinely, so far there is nothing bad I can say about this stuff. For the price I paid, plus what is happening on my face, I'm so happy. Right, I'm just going to set those and in order to do that I'm going to be using their brow setting gel which just looks like a standard gel to be honest and this was only £1.50 again. Oh, actually, wow! Okay, yeah, it does. It literally sticks them up. Which I know that brow setting gel is meant to do that but genuinely some brow setting gels you'll go up and up and up and where do your eyelashes go? They go back down. So this actually pushes them up in the exact way that I want them. I'm really happy with that, guys. Get yourself to Wilco. Moving on, we have the eyeshadow. Now, Body Collection have come out with like, I think it's five different small palettes and one large palette. Now I only picked up one because at the end of the day, I'm only testing out a full face. If I really, really like this, then I'll go back and I'll buy the other ones if the formula's nice, if the pigment's nice, you know, if it's worth it. But this £6 palette was only £2.50, so do you know what? I can't complain if I don't like it. But the colour story reminds me of... This is going to sound really dumb. It reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean, and I don't know why. Well, I do kind of know why. But it looks sick, and I can't wait to try it. So I picked up this blue one here, which... The colour scheme is so pretty and I don't own a palette similar to this. So this is the colour story. I absolutely adore this colour here and this one here. If you know me from my previous videos, you know that I love a shimmer. So I'm so excited to put this on my eyes. 
Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Tell me that blue green is not pretty. Um, that's amazing. That's beautiful, that is actually stunning. Oh, I love it. So far, every single one I've tried is pigmented. There is no fallout, there is no kickback. I am obsessing. Right guys, super, super quickly. My battery is very, very quickly running out. I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do this eye, I'm gonna cut both the creases, and then I'm gonna go in with the glitter. So I will see you in a sec. Right guys, I am back. I've done the eyeshadow, I cut the crease, I've put the glitter on there, and I've done my under eye. I really, really like that. I like every single colour in this little palette. I'm going to use these definitely again, so I'll just zoom you in real quick. So I've had to go back underneath with a little bit of concealer and, oh, that needs a bit more of a blend, <laughs> and a little bit of the pressed powder um, just to sort of make the under eyes pop a bit more. I am genuinely tired, which is why my eyes look tired, but yeah, that's the eye look that we've gone for. Yeah. Again, I'm happy, no kickback, no fallout, I am super impressed. So, moving on, let's move on to the mascara. I actually picked up this waterproof mascara, and I love the casing. There's like tiny little raindrops on, on the lid, and I think that looks so bougie. I'm not mad at that, that's actually a really nice wand. It's not too big, it's not too small. It looks like it could do something. Now, if you are not new here, you'll know that my lashes are stubborn. Generally speaking, there's no point in me testing mascara because my lashes just go down. They don't do anything else. So if this happens, I'm not blaming the mascara. It's my lashes. I'll test this with my bottom ones because my bottom ones are normally a little bit better. <laughs> Um, I think that's not a bad mascara, genuinely. It's also waterproof, which normally means it's a little bit going to be a little bit clumpier. Let me just brush these through and see if that makes any difference. Mascara I'm just not great at. It's a nice mascara. I'll see how waterproof it is when I'm in the shower and I'll let you guys know, but yeah, mascara is just not my forte. So, let's do the lips first. So, I absolutely love this. I picked up their Lip Crush Liquid Lipstick in the shade Grape, I believe. And the packaging is adorable. So, at first glance, it's this goldy sort of package. But it's actually a hexagon and it's not a square, which I find really fascinating. So, hopefully this works nicely. It is a liquid lipstick, so I'm expecting it to dry very much matte. I am living for that. I love the colour. I actually love the colour. And it doesn't feel drying. Like, whether or not it dries, Matt, we'll see. It doesn't feel like it will. Which is unusual for a liquid lipstick. It doesn't feel like it is going to dry matte. So, I really like that. And it smells great. That genuinely smells really nice. And this, I believe as well, was only £2.50. So now we're onto the last product. So far I've loved every single one. So let's move on to something that I absolutely adore and that is highlight. So we've got this one, which is just a baked illuminator and I absolutely love the shade of this. It's like a rose goldy sort of shade. It's obviously baked, so you're gonna have to try and get through that top. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look how pigmented that is. That's insane. I was expecting to have to really dig through to get underneath the baked bit, but I actually think I'm gonna have to be a little bit more gentle. Right guys, that is the end of today's YouTube video and I have used every single product that I have bought. 
I am genuinely impressed. I tell you what my favourite products are actually, really thinking about it. The eyeshadow palette is a must. Wow, like, do you know what? Really thinking about it. The eyeshadow palette is my favourite because it is an eyeshadow palette and I'm a little bit obsessed. But the translucent powder is amazing as well. I feel really, really cute. I really, really like the blush. Very, very minimal. Very cute. Love that. I like the highlighter. The highlight is very like, bam, look at me. <laughs> and yeah, I just really, really like that as well. That is it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this YouTube video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet done so and you want to stick around for more content, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ding that bell for future notifications. Thank you so much for watching. It is so, so appreciated. Have a great day, guys. Stay happy, stay safe, stay smiling. And I cannot wait to see you in the next YouTube video. Until then, love you, bye.